Again, a quality heifer as far as some ribbon body, functional at the ground. You know, you, you hate to get critical of one of them that's standing by herself, but compared to the, the pair of them we might have seen a moment ago, we could change her just a little bit there in the angle of her shoulder, maybe make her a little bit bolder as we study her right through her pins. Maybe wants to get a little bit narrower as she goes from hooks to pins, but a heifer that certainly has a lot of quality and fun to see even when she's by herself. Boy, a really good trio of them. Uh, as we study our first class winner, that's the one I'm going to use to win our division. I think that heifer is really excellent at the ground and looks like she's very futuristic about her front third and her build. I like the kind of ribbon body depth that she offers, and yet still she's fresh and feminine to go along with that. That one's going to be our champion in the division. You get to the pair of heifers that wind up uh, being in contention for reserve. The young lady that uh, would be second in that first class, again, that one's very bold, and that one's got a lot of expansiveness from the center body out uh, as she balances and as that one finally does kind of stand still and take a breath that heifer has some look and presence about her that's the one that I think's built just a notch better than the one that wins class two I'm going to use the young lady here to be reserved congrats to you both good job
Mikey and a bigger heifer, or an older heifer, I should say, that uh, comes to the ring. I like that one at the ground. I think she's good as far as her flexibility off all four. When you see her go, though, I don't know if it's maybe the depth of surface that we've got. She'll kind of want to pick up into her top a little bit, duck those pins just a touch. But when you get her stopped here from a profile, that one's good ribbed and bodied. That's a good moderate kind of brood cow that when we see her in motion, we can nitpick just a touch, but certainly a quality animal. Congrats to you. Within your Limb Flex show, your results from the Division I champion drive. Your champion is entry 1544, Ben Spencer. Your reserve champion is entry 1547, Kinley Lewis. Your results from class four with the one lone entry of 1553 is Ben Spencer. In the ring at this time is your grand champion Limb Flex female drive. Well, I, uh, I, it goes without saying, you know, we might not have the numbers here in our limb flex show that we all hoped and dreamed of, but uh, one thing that it's hard to get past, though, is you got a bunch of quality. We haven't seen a poor heifer come to the ring here in our limousine and, and flex show yet, and I doubt we will the rest of the afternoon. My hat's off to each of you that have been here to the ring. I'll go out and show you the two that I like, and let's give my hand. Congrats. Within the Limb Flex show, your grand champion Limb Flex female is Ben Spencer with Caitlin 685K. Ruling into consideration for reserve will be Kinley Lewis. And she got reserve.
here in our April uh, single entry division. This young man's brought good ones to the ring all day, and this one's no different. That's a heifer I like, the kind of shape and style that she's in as far as her rib and body. I think she looks fresh and futuristic. I like her at the ground, and I think she's got lots of flexibility. And I think a unique thing that goes along with the maternal value and, and look of that one, as you step in behind her, I, I think that that one does have some actual skeletal width and power to go along with it. Not that I think that uh, muscularity is a necessity in females, but when they've got it and they still maintain some maternal look and femininity, I think it goes with worth mentioning. Congrats to you, sir, and uh, we'll see you come back here in our grand drive. Within the limousine show in first place from class five is Ben Spencer. He becomes your division one limousine champion. In the ring at this time is class number six. We have a one entry from Breck Boyce. Our judge for our limousine show is Taylor Graham from Miami, Oklahoma. He is the regional manager for Westway Feed Products. He raises show cattle with his wife, Bailey. He is a three-time livestock judging All-American, and he has his bachelor's and match master's degree from OK State. All right. Well, a heifer that certainly scared away all the competition. You get out here and evaluate her, and that kind of makes sense. Uh, young man brings a wooden stick to the ring. You do something like that, you know, that's a power move. You know, you got a good one, and you think about some flexibility and kind that she goes along with that. Built good from the ground up. I like her rib and body. And again, like we mentioned just a moment ago, cattle that are built well and then still do so with some power and dimension, I, I think uh, it, it goes with saying that they can do those things and still be feminine and good kind. Congrats, young man on a good female we'll see her in just a minute
Well, here in our limousine show, uh, I can't thank the Limousine Association, the National Western, enough for having me. I know we're at the Mile High City, but this really is one of the pinnacles of livestock evaluation, having the honor to be in this ring and hold a microphone and be able to share your opinion uh, uh, with some people that obviously do a really good job showing some really good cattle. Uh, actually, today's my 31st birthday, and I, I couldn't think of a better way to spend it up here on the hill uh, with you folks judging some high-quality females. I've got to uh, thank my wife back home who's, who's doing the work while I'm here uh, uh, looking clean and good, and she's calving cows and doing everything that needs done at home, and my hat's off to her, and uh, I can't thank you guys enough for having me. As we look at both these two that stand in front of us, I think they're both built similar as we think about foot size and the way that they go off of both ends. Uh, the young man there in, the, in the, the white hat, I like that that one's hip and rear leg structure is nice. I think she's a little neater headed than the bigger one just behind her. Not quite as good as you study her off those front two, not quite as square and good in the way that you study her from knee to the ground, but both those cattle are very high quality when we think about them as far as width the chest and boldness and the way they maintain it in kind of a maternal look look. I'm not going to tell you that that one's shallower than the big one. I think she's actually pretty accurate for the size and age that she is. As we get to the big one, I like the way that that older heifer is built. I think that when you study her, the way that she reaches and flexes off of both ends is extremely high quality. That's a heifer whose hip and rear leg not only flexes, but does so with some stoutness and dimension. Now, I mentioned she's a little bit bigger headed. You know, she's a little more mature to go along with that as well. High quality pair of them. Again, thank you to the Limousine Association. I'll pick your champion. Within the limousine show, your grand champion limousine female is your division four limousine champion, Breck Boyce. The reserve champion goes to division one limousine champion, Ben Spencer. At this time within the limousine show, we will pause for pictures with our junior champions before we get started with the open portion of the limousine show.
Back over to the limousine side of the show. We have started the open portion of the show. Our judge is Tom Hawk from Earlville, Illinois. He is judging class number one, division one of limousine females. In this class, we have entry 3076, Katniss 802K from Griswold Cattle from Stillwater, Oklahoma. And we have entry 3077, Ben Spencer from Gibbon, Nebraska with CLAC Karma. Good morning. Uh, does that sound all right? Uh, thanks for having me here this morning to judge your limousine show. Honored to be back here to work at the National Western. And uh, looks like we got a nice little snowy morning started here. But uh, uh, this event is uh, looks like it's going to take off. And uh, I think the National Western is doing very well, if any of you have been around here. So honored to be here to judge your limmies. Uh, here we don't have a lot of numbers, but I tell you what, it looks like starting with this class, we got a lot of quality. I got a really nice pair of females to start here. I just went ahead and stayed with a high volume female, super deep, rib, good, 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 deep in that flank. You know, that female's got enough angle and look for me. I think, the, you know, with the amount of product that there, that's there and still got that show and eye appeal in that front end, that angle, like I say, she sets back in that knee good. Really a pleasing female to start with, just a big bulky one. Young man brings a nice one, uh, gets around really good in this uh, high traction uh, bedding we got out here this morning. So uh, I like the way that one works for me. You know, we come to a heifer here in second that's just in her own right's a really good female. Good in her lines, you know, get out on the profile like this heifer out through her hip. She's square made, she's good at the ground. Maybe just doesn't go with that hock just as fluid as that one ahead of her. And today just doesn't have that robust rib cage to run any higher, but a really nice way to start your limousine show. Your results on the limousine show in class number one in second place, we have Ben Spencer from Gibbon, Nebraska. In first place, we have Griswold Cattle from Stillwater, Oklahoma. In the ring is class number two, division one limousine females. We have three total entries, Ben Spencer, Carly Sue Coulterman, and Kinley Lewis.
as with our last class winner, we come into the second class. We got a really nice trio of females out here, but I think we come with another robust rib female that just kind of handles herself to the front of this class pretty easily. For me, uh, you know, one that you just enjoy as far as that softness of rib and that turn, you know, you get in behind her, she's got some substance, she's got some mass, she's got a big old back in her, but still does that with a ladylike look when you come into that front end, you know, this heifer's just got a lot of good. I mean, when the when the young lady gets her going out in this bedding, like I say, we don't, we don't have her tightened up quite as, you know, we all, we all, all of us that have showed her forever, it always gets too hard. Well, today, it's a little soft this morning, that'll be fine, we'll get her worked in, but she gets this one going and gets her flying, you know, that she can really put them feet out, she goes in the right direction, I like the way they are way that heifer does that you know at first I wanted to think that maybe she was getting just a little outside but then when she got her going it was right in there uh, like I say just a high volume one to win the class for me there's a lot of heifer there so that's a good one and uh, congratulations uh, we come to another really good female here this female's ultra good looking this is the kind I like as far as the way she comes out of the top of that shoulder I think she maybe excels the one ahead of her as far as tidiness of chest in front end they're back really, really good looking. Today, I just didn't think she had the foot, the bone, and the power maybe to run with that one ahead of her. But you talk about a square hip, good looking one that's really nice up through that chin and the way that she's built going back and feeding into that shoulder build. I think that's a really nice female to be in second that's going to do some winning. Um, young lady comes with another one here. She's good in her lines. This female is just really nice in the profile as far as length, the spine, squareness of hip. She challenges me when, I, me when I get in behind her. She wants to tuck that hock, and she wants to just not feel just right on these pastures. All that kind of ties together as far as a uh, negative in the soundness department. But a heifer, we'd like to soften to get her any higher, but really, really nice trio. Within the limousine show, your results from class number two in third place, Kinley Lewis. In second place, Ben Spencer. In first place, your class winner, Carly Sue Coulterman. At this time, we will bring back first and seconds from class number one and class number two for your Division I limousine champion selection. We come out here this morning for your first limousine division of your open show and uh, you know uh, not a lot of numbers I know judges always say this but I sincerely mean this four really good females in the ring uh, the excellent excellent quality we've seen this morning is really pleasing to me uh, and I think we got two nice class winners and a, a really uh, good pair of seconds there and you know I think it 
I think these these heifers resemble each other very very closely. You know, I'll just talk them a little bit and we'll pick you a division and move on. But uh, we talked about that heifer, the one in the first class. You know, just really deep sided. I like that. I think she's got enough turn to her rib, square out through that hip. You know, maybe maybe she's a, a little cleaner chested than the one behind her but maybe she just doesn't want to feed up out of that top of that shoulder as easy I do enjoy that about the one behind her but it, with that you know th this heifer maybe has just a little more shoulder than the one behind her uh, just a little more just a little bolder there but that's really getting nitpicky the young man's got a really nice class winner and it's you know like I say just a really good competitive female to be in this division come to the young lady behind him and I like as I talked to her you know, I love that smoothness to shoulder with all that power back there. She's also got a big, robust rib cage, which I, uh, anybody that's ever seen me evaluate or I, I, when I explain myself, I'm pretty simple termed. I like big bodied ones that put it all together. That one does that, both females do that. I like the smoothness of this female and that shoulder profile. I like the way the one, this one comes out of the top of that shoulder and I really like her up through the top of that pole. She does have just a, a little more condition in that front end. I don't know if I call that condition. I don't think it is. I think that's just the way she's built. I think she comes into that square out through that hip. It gets really close out here for me. I'll congratulate uh, the two uh, champion and reserve. I like that pair of class winners. I really like that second out of that second class too. As I talked to her, super fresh. I think that thing's got big time future today. I thought she just got a little uh, overpowered, but uh, give them a round of applause. This is a really nice way to start your show. Your Division One limousine champion comes from class number two, and that is Carly Sue Coulterman.
Over here on your Lemmy side, uh, we got a single entry. We come with another high volume female. You know, I was going to comment. I was looking at the paper through these classes, and I haven't said nothing. But I haven't seen a bad numbered heifer yet. There's been a lot of good spread there, weaning the yearling. That's impressive. And I just wanted to bring that up. I I was evaluating the paper, and there hasn't been an issue there. Low birth weights. I, I really like the way these cattle have lined up on paper. But phenotypically, this is another nice one. Just a deep ribbed, soggy bellied heifer that's really square out through that hip. You know, she's a heifer that's got enough smoothness. Maybe not as much bone and foot as some of them we've seen. When you do get in behind her, you know, she, if, she, if she stays just coordinated enough, I think this one's pretty nice. Uh, you know, a young man showed some nice ones. Brings us another nice single entry class winner. Your results from class number three, division two limousine female is Ben Spencer in first place. Really a nice single entry uh, heifer to come out of these Januaries. Bigger frame female that puts a lot together. Uh, this heifer square made, good at the ground. The young man uh, gets her in motion here and the heifer moves around good for him. You know, comes up nice out of that shoulder. Once he gets her, uh, she wanted to kind of bunch up and she comes up, he gets that loin settled in her and this thing really comes together. And on the stop and the profile, she really enjoy her. I like that spring of rib. That's a nice heifer we'll look at again. Your results from class number four in the limousine show. In first place, Hayden Holdgrafer. At this time, we will bring back our first winners from class three and four for our Division II limousine champion and reserve champion selection. Within the limousine show, our judge is Tom Hawk from Earlville, Illinois. He is the owner of Hawk Livestock. It's a purebred Hereford operation that focuses on marketing IVF heifer calves to junior families across the United States. Tom and his wife Mandy and son Jess operate Hawk Livestock and are partners in a family grain farm. He's attended Western Illinois University and Tom has judged state, regional, and national shows across the United States. Thank you to our judge Tom Hawk for being here today to judge the limousine show in the open portion.
we come out of your second division. We only had <coughs> two hoppers in the division and two single class winners. Of course, you can see that. Uh, very, very nice females. As we talked this one in the first class, just another big ribbed one, square made. You know, it's a heifer, like as I talk, maybe she's just a little uncoordinated with them hocks. Maybe just like to see a little more foot and bone as she uh, progresses. But other than that, smooth made, you know, in that shoulder. Uh, you know, this, this young man, like I say, showed some nice ones. He brings you another nice one here. Um, really a competitive female. We come to the big heifer out of the out of the uh, second class, and, uh, you know, the heifer doesn't want to really get set up for him here in class. When she was out here alone, she was a friendly girl. Now she wants to dance on him, but he puts this one together. This is a good female, square made. Like I said, she's got some frame and some size. Doesn't bother me. I don't really care on that either way, but with that, she puts a lot together. Just square out through that hip, and, you know, she he gets her profiled here. She can really yank that head up and go come up out of the top of that shoulder, and she does that really good. Big old foot and bone on her. Uh, just a nice, nice division. I'll, I'll show you which two uh, out of the two I like in the reserve. But give them a round of applause. Nice division. Your Division Two limousine champion comes from class number four, Hayden Holdgrafer. And your reserve champion comes from class number three, and that is Ben Spencer. Set to enter the ring at this time is class number five, Division Five Limousine Females. We have two entries, one from Ashlyn Oshner from Kersey, Colorado. We have Bryce Boyce, excuse me, Breck Boyce from Lippin, Texas.
two really good females, two really different females in this class, and this is your division. So we'll talk them first and second, but this will be your grand and reserve of this division. You know, the young man comes with a no-frills heifer. This heifer, the more you analyze her, she gets better, better, better when she hits you. She's big ribs. She's square made. She's really fresh. You know, there's not, she's not just woolly, woolly haired, but she's got great hair. She lays with great angle to that shoulder. She's really good and fresh up through that front end. Uh, I like her moderation. I don't mind. I don't mind a bigger one as I talk that. I, I show them all over the, all over the sizes myself. But I tell you what, young man gets this one put together. Just that smoothness of shoulder, the way she comes up out of the top of that, out through that pole. Like, you know, she just kind of excels today as far as freshness, angles, look, and eye appeal. That's a really good one. Congratulations on your division. Uh, young lady, you got a powerhouse here. I like this female. I like a lot about her. When she hits the ring, I, I love power. I like that squareness of hip. I like her foot and bone. You know, she's got that big rib and that big capacity we've been talking about. She'll want to just push that shoulder and get a little bolder. But, you know, with that, I want to comment on her. You know, she'll be your reserve. But that, that thing will hold a lot of competition. But what I like about her, she's still fresh-chested for having this much product. And I do enjoy that about her. But today, she just wants to push and be a little shorter fronted for me to get any higher ahead of that one. Congratulate your division winners. Nice, nice division. Your results from class number five within the limousine show. In second place, Ashlyn Oshner. In first place, Breck Boyce. At this time, we will bring in our champion and reserve division champions to come back for our grand champion limousine female selection.
come out here for your champion heifer and uh what a really nice lineup and you know like i said all day uh enjoy enjoy the quality you know uh we're gonna judge a few bulls afterwards but i mean these females are good i'm i'm sincerely mean that i i wish there was more numbers i know there's gonna be uh this limousine breed has been hot and uh these things go around the nation and uh they they win they get in top fives and, you know these junior shows i know this is an open show have become so important to us and really the focus is on the juniors and you know a lot of these are either junior heifers i'm sure or, or uh you know if they're not they're probably going to a junior program 90 percent of the time that's what's happening anymore and i tell you what the limmies have really really rolled in that deal and uh, i follow it pretty closely as what some of you guys uh, as far as breeding you've used and i think it's it's just wild how you've put them together but you know, I'd like to thank everybody that uh, it, uh, Alyssa and the crew that asked me and Steve Lavalle has been a close friend of mine a long time. And it's an honor to come here to judge on the hill at the uh, National Western, you know, and there's been some turbulence in the last few years about where to show or what's going on in this world. And uh, I think things are starting to even out a little bit in our show world. I know agriculture is pretty good right now for a lot of people and some parts of it's still a fight, you know, there's some ups and downs, but uh, I know that in the show cattle industry, it's pretty wild good. And uh, I know this breeds did well too and like i say i attribute that to all you breeders and uh you know i just my hat's off to you like i say what you guys have done and uh put together you know as i analyze these cattle i was really impressed on paper today there was there was one female that had a little higher birth weight it was still acceptable in this champion drive but i'll tell you uh there were some good numbered cattle and uh you know I, you want to analyze paper but you know to me it's still phenotype i really like the lineup i like all six of these I mean, look at over in that reserve line. There's there's three good animals. Them, them calves right there are, are really good looking, and uh, I enjoy that. But uh, no, thank you for having me. Uh, I don't have any real big speeches past that. Everybody knows I can talk a lot, but today I don't have a lot more to say. I'm gonna talk these real quick. We're gonna pick you some champions. We'll get onto your bulls. But uh, like I say, keep pushing. This thing's gonna get bigger at the National Western. I haven't been here in a couple years, and I'm excited I'm back, and I know I'm gonna be back. And uh, it feels good if you're going to hang a banner on your mantle it'd be pretty cool to hang one from the nwss so that's cool give them a round of applause i'll make you clap twice there ain't too many of you here but it's pretty decent so you know we start out with this heifer calf that wins this first division and uh she's just a big ribbed female square made you know i talked about her as far as good angles the way i like them and sweep you know moderation's right i like her i like the way she slopes back in that knee She's big footed. As I talked to her, maybe she's not as just sexy necked as the two behind her. Doesn't bother me. I think that all feeds. I don't think the heifer's heavy in condition at all. I think that's just the way she lays. She's long enough necked. She does come out of that top of that shoulder. She beat a really nice female too. The young man had reserve there, but a good female in that first class in that first division. The second division winner, she's elegant. She's good looking. She's wanting to stand here and show now, and she'll show off to you. You get out from one this one on the profile. She is a little bigger made. She wants to really feed nice out of the top of that shoulder got that ultra look you know she's got enough body for that frame it's she's got nice sweep you know it's it's adequate it's good that thing's just built uh, really nice as far as a, a show package I think there's enough there as she matures to really get that cow look I mean that thing's ultra fresh up into that front end I like that I like that back leg on that heifer when you look at that curvature to that hawk to ground there it's pretty impressive if you see what I see so that's a good female to be out of that division as I said she beat another nice one the young man over there he he had a lot of good females today in this show uh, he was he would be your premier exhibitor definitely in my mind um, we come to these two big heifers and this heifer that wins that division this heifer's no frill she's really good I mean this one's really smooth made she's big bodied I like her at the ground She's got big feet and they do the right things. But as he brings her around here, this one's got really nice feet and legs. I mean, she slopes back really nice. He gets her stopped. Like I say, she's not as woofy haired as maybe that reserve, but I mean, that, that thing's angles are good. I like her out of the top of her shoulder. If you could just pull her out a nickel maybe at times as far as just stretching that head. But that one, as far as I, I talk about that hawk build and that curvature, I like that in that one. Um, just a nice, nice female to come out of there and super competitive bred. I like it that she just, there's not a lot of holes there at all. And I like that about her and it really holds her top well. Like I say, she gets around and she shows you off what she can do. But you know what? That's a, just a good trio. Uh, all three of these females really, really impressed me. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing yet. So I'm going to look around for a bit. Give them one more round of applause. Thanks for having me and I'll judge your bulls.
Once again, our judge is Tom Hawk from Earlville, Illinois, for the Limousine Show. He is the owner of Hawk Livestock. Your results on the limousine show. Your grand champion limousine female is entry 3089 Breck Boyce with CSVN MS Brown Sugar. In reserve champion goes to your division two limousine champion, and that is entry 3086 Hayden Holdgrafer with Candy 172.6K.
Within your limousine show at this moment, we have class number eight, Division One Limousine Bulls. We have the entry 3091 from Running Creek Ranch out of Elizabeth, Colorado. We come over here on your limmy side and we start your bull show and uh you know we bring out an end of march calf that's got a lot of product and a lot of good to him uh this calf's deep centered good bodied you know got some length the front end there get you get behind him he's pleasing as far as a muscle standpoint you know got good testicular development as far as a young calf square made this is a calf when he gets out on the move he'll want to tuck on these pa he'll want to notch on these pastures and just rock them back and forth and i don't know if he's just getting used to the halter getting used to being shown but that's something i want to improve on him a little bit other than that just a nice deep centered calf congratulations on your class winner and your division winner Within the limousine show, your results from class number eight and your division one limousine champion is Running Creek Ranch. In the ring at this time is class number nine. We have entry from Reynolds Land and Cattle and Oshner Limousine. come out here in your second division and this will be a division class winner in second and it'll be champion in reserve and I tell you what this young lady brings a good one this bull is really pleasing he's pleasing on the move and he's pleasing on the stop you get out from this calf he really profiles nice really deep centered good bodied square out through that hip and you get him behind him and he's got some products some muscle a uh, really good angle to his shoulder I like the way he comes up out of the top of that shoulder like I say he's just a calf that just has got a, just a lot of good. I mean, as, as, as we say, you know, as far as product and, and look, he's got that. And he's got a long enough front for me. And like I say, you know, is he the biggest bone, biggest footed one? No. But he reads great on paper. He's low birth weight. He's good in his weaning and yearling. Uh, yeah, pheno phenotype in paper is really pleasing on this calf. Like I say, we'll look at him again later on. But congratulations. He'll be your champion of that division and your class winner. You know, we come to the second and reserve calf here. Just another deep centered bull. He just doesn't want to put it all together. He wanted to fight the young man, but uh, it's a bull that gets coarser in that shoulder. Wants to just slope in that hip and be a little uncoordinated when you get behind him. But when you talk center body, uh, deepness, you know, deepness and power of rib, he has that. He does. He is square when you get in behind him. We just got to tie that all together. He came across a really good bull calf today. Your results from the limousine bull show.
Your results from class number nine in second place, and your Division II Limousine Reserve champion is entry 3094 Reynolds Land and Cattle from Sanford, Colorado. And your first place and Division II Limousine champion is entry 3095 Ash Ashlyn Oshner with Oshner Limousine of Kersey, Colorado. Set to enter the ring at this time for the limousine show is class number 10, your Division Three limousine bulls. We have one entry from Wolf Cattle from Morris, Minnesota. Come over here on your Lemmy side, and we got ourselves a really, really nice single entry again. Just a powerhouse. He'll be your division winner. He's an August fallborn, uh, late summer deal. Good at the ground, big, heavy footed bull, really massive hips, good ribbed. You know, the, the calf's got a nice square set of testicles. He's really pro, uh, reproductive wise, he's coming on. You know, he's got a decent angle to that shoulder for all that power. He's a calf that's long enough necked. Yeah, I'd like to clean him up, you know, as far as show presentation up underneath that chin. But with that, I like his condition, uh, and like I say, he puts it all together, but one we'll look at again. Congratulations. Within the limousine show, your results from class number 10. In the first place, Wolf Cattle. They also become your Division Three limousine champion bull. In the ring at this time is class number 11. This is Division 5 Limousine Bulls. We have the one lone entry from Reynolds Land and Cattle from Sanford, Colorado. come out here another single entry division winner and the young man brings a nice one just a good doing calf uh this yearling bull is just made nice good and square you know it's a it's a it's a bull that doesn't have a a ton a ton of uh extras but what he's got's decent you know he's deep ribbed got a good angle to that shoulder long enough neck he's a bull you'd like to square in that hip a little bit but uh past that just a good doing bull like i say not the most sappiest centered one that we're going to see but uh what you see is what you get and that's a good calf we'll look at it again Within the limousine show, results from class number 11 in first place, and your Division 5 limousine champion is entry 3097 Reynolds Land and Cattle. At this time, we will bring back our division winners for our grand and reserve champion selections for the limousine bulls.
come out here uh, for your champion bowl on the limousine side. And like I said, uh, once again, thank you to the National Western for having me. <clears throat> I know this thing's just going to get bigger and bigger. We get things figured out here. I think the National Western's put together a lot of effort, <clears throat> and I'm really excited about that. Thanks to Alyssa DePorter for contacting me for this. And uh, as always, Steve LaValle and his crew, they've been good to me for years. Uh, I guess I've been around her for quite a while now. Maybe the gray in my beard shows, but uh, I think 25 plus years I've been coming to the National Western. And you know, when you when you got bucket list, it's always the judge at the na at these kinds of shows at the majors. And uh, like I say, I'm thankful for that. But as the, at the, as we talked them heifers, you know, I, I I said a lot about what I what I what, about the Lemmy heifers and how they've uh, come you know kind of stormed the nation and quality and, and getting along in these shows. And that's what a lot of it's about. But when it comes to the bull side. You know, we switch our gears a little bit to just making good bulls that can breed and, and uh, make better cattle, uh, whether that's in the show heifer industry. But, you know, a lot of these bulls got to make uh, got to make uh, breeding bulls for out in these commercial herds. And I think these things are there's a pair of them out here that are really useful for me <coughs> in that. But uh, no, I, like I say, I, when you talk about what we've talked about all day, it's, it, it feeds over. You know, we're looking for that smoothness, that depth, the rib. That power, when we talk about these bulls, we want them to be in the reproductive department, be going in the right direction, that squareness of hip, and, you know, them good angles. And I, I think I got two bulls out here that please me for that quite a bit. Uh, like I say, I won't even talk back through them. I've talked about what I like. But once again, uh, give your limousine uh, uh, exhibitors a round of applause. And one, one quick comment. Go ahead and give these guys. That's a good set of bulls here. I guess I will comment on one thing on these two on the bulls I, I like out here. I like this middle pair a lot, and I'd like to combine a couple things as far as maybe a little more foot size on the calf ahead, maybe a little more smoothness on the other one. It's going to be some give and take. I'm going to take one more look out of them. Once again, thanks for having me. Congratulations to the limousine breed. Keep on charging. Your grand champion limousine bull is also your division two limousine champion, and that is Oshner Limousine. Your reserve grand champion limousine bull is also your division three limousine champion, and that is Wolf Cattle.
within the limousine show. Your premier breeder is Reynolds Land and Cattle. Your premier exhibitor is Oshner Limousine. 